we're going to be exploring bound scripts. So bound scripts are the same as the standalone scripts that we had worked with earlier, although they are contained within a parent container file. So in this case, we're going to be using a spreadsheet. And once we open up the spreadsheet, in order to access the Google Apps Script, we go under the tab extensions, select Apps Script, and that's going to open up the Apps Script editor. And from there, we can write the code just as we would with the standalone script. There are some additional special methods that are available within the Apps Script, as well as special triggers, such as the on open. And in this case, we're going to be adding a menu item to the UI where we can select a function and run the function directly from the spreadsheet without even having to open the Google Apps Script. So that's the menu item that we created. And these are the functions that we can run. So it's essentially running this block of code and outputting the result into the spreadsheet. In the previous lesson, we've been creating a standalone script. So this is a script project that has its own file within the Google Drive system. And within the Google Drive, you can open up and you can see your standalone scripts. When it comes to bound scripts, they are available within the Google Suite, within the Docs, Sheets, and in Slides and Forms. Let's open up the Google Spreadsheet, and I'll show you how you can create a bound script. So this is going to be contained within the main container. The container file is going to be the Sheets file, and this is how we can access it from the drive. It's not going to have a separate project file as we see with the standalone script. We'll just call it script test, give the sheet a name. Bound scripts do behave like standalone scripts, except they do not appear within the Google Drive. And they cannot be detached from the file that they are bound to. So when you're planning out whether to create a bound script or a standalone script, those are a couple things to consider. So once you've got your Google spreadsheet open, under the extensions tab at the top, select apps script, and this will open up the script editor the same way that we saw with the standalone script. And I'll call this tester1, we'll just rename it. And when we look in our drive, we're going to have the spreadsheet, but we're not going to have the apps script project. The bound script projects are still going to be listed within the script dashboard, although they're going to get indicated differently than the standalone scripts, where it's going to use the container icon with the little script icon on top. So you can select them from the scripts, or you can go from the drive, open up the container file, and then within the container file, under the app script, that's going to open up the script editor. With the bound script as well, you can add custom functions into the spreadsheet, in addition to creating custom menus. And bound scripts as well can come with custom functions on open, which is going to run whenever the document is opened and whenever the spreadsheet is opened, it's going to automatically run this function. And this again is, this is only within the bound script that you can add the on open. And typically you would use the on open in order to select the UI menu. So selecting the spreadsheet app, get the UI. And once you've got the UI object, you can create a menu. And the menu is going to require a string parameter for the caption or the label. You can add several button items there. And these are as well going to be string values. And they require two parameters. The first one is going to be the one that's displayed within the button for the user. And the second one is going to be the function that's going to get run and get invoked whenever that button is clicked. And they don't have to be named the same. Once you've created the items that you want to add to your menu, you can complete the process by running the add to UI function, and that's going to add that item to the UI menu. And now it's going to run a couple functions. So let's create those functions named test1 as well as test2. And also within the spreadsheet UI, you can have alerts, prompts, as well as different dialogues that can get shown. So the alert is going to output a value of test1 once the test1 function is pressed. And test2 is going to output in the alert the test2 button. So now we want to add the item to the UI menu. 
And there's our button that we added to the menu. And that's after the script has run. And there's our two options, so test one and test two. So now we can click them and they're gonna have these pop-up alerts whenever the function is run. So this is a way that you can run Google Apps Script from a bound container and interact with the Google Apps Script running the code directly from the spreadsheet. And if you do wanna edit the code, you can select under the extensions, app script, and that's going to open up the editor where you can update and run the code. The editor is going to be the same as we saw within the standalone script. You can get additional settings and options for the editor by right-clicking on a Windows machine or can control clicking, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. So this will pop up the additional menu options where you can get definitions, you can get references, you can go to a particular symbol. There's also a peek, so you can peek the different definitions and the references. You can toggle that using the keyboard shortcuts. You can rename symbols, change all occurrences. You can also format the document. So that just provided the extra spacing. So if uh, that spacing is not properly tabbed, we can select it and we can then format either the selection or we can format the entire document. We can also do this using the shortcut and that's gonna apply the indentation to the code, so making it more readable. There's also the typical cut, copy, paste, and then there's the command palette. If you open up the command palette, this will give you a listing of all of the commands that are available that you can utilize as you're writing your code. So if you wanna find out more about the different methods, you can select, you can use a peek to peek and get the definition. It's also gonna highlight all of the instances whenever I'm using that particular method. And these are just some of the features that we have within the editor. So go ahead and try it out. Add a UI menu to your spreadsheet and you'll be ready to move on to the next lesson.